when we have the contour assist unlocked on the guidance, I get three additional wayline types. I get contour segment mode, I get single contour segment mode, and single contour. Let's have a look at contour segment mode. With contour segment mode then, is I have three different ways then that I can create a contour way line which I could then use to, uh, to drive the, uh, the boundary or the headland runs of my, uh, of my field. If we have a look then at our first method, record contour segments, is I have this pop out box, I can add a new segment and then as soon as I start to uh, start moving it will uh, start recording my uh, my pass there if I want to as I can pause the recording if I want to draw a really uh, if I want to drive a, a nice straight line is I can pause it and then I can uh, hit resume and it will draw a straight line when I finished recording that segment I just hit the, uh, the stop button I can then uh, make my uh, make my turn when I'm uh, ready to uh, create a new one I can uh, add again and this will be following the exact path of the uh, of the tractor finish recording then as I hit the uh, the last button there finish way line recording I can uh, hit yes I can now see then the uh, the four different uh, way lines I've just uh, I've just created for my headland I can now save and load those particular way lines I can see I'm now on way line four but then if I uh, if I make a turn Now automatically show me then wayline one, the first segment that we uh, that we created. Again, when I get to to where I want to turn, it's now it's showing me. A different set of way lines so it's automatically cycling through the uh, the way lines if I have an existing boundary for the field itself then is I can generate my headland way lines from that boundary it will then ask me how many uh, headland segments do I want to create so it will always default to two but then we can put in our number of, uh, of segments in the uh, in the field I can then save and uh, and load that now its first way line it wants to put on the field boundary itself so if I want to uh, to nudge those in it's already got my half distance from my six meter wide uh, wide implement there I can therefore either center it or I could uh, nudge it to uh, three meters away from the uh, from the boundary and now I've got my uh, I've got my headland uh, way line sat uh, sat there ready and waiting for me and then as before if I uh, go to turn it will then show me the uh, the opposite to uh, the other side of the field's way line the third method then that we can uh, add uh, or create these headland way lines is I can use it uh, create from existing way lines and here then for a field is I've, I've got multiple uh, way lines for the for this particular field and again I can highlight everything that I want to use hit the tick button and again it shows me my uh, my fields shape or, or all four way lines 
that uh, I've just uh, just created. I can uh, hit the uh, hit the save and, and load on there. And again, we can now see our uh, our different uh, our different way lines that we've got created uh, for the field. So if I make a uh, make the turn again. automatically uh, selecting the uh, the way line that we want to uh, to use if there's a particular way line that I want to use that I've generated from my uh, my headland and I don't want to, to see any of the other ones is when I've highlighted that one I can now pin it and so then it doesn't matter if I uh, if I turn it will only show me that particular way line that uh, that I've pinned to the uh, to the screen.